that have been scattered. That's why it's called a scatter plot. So we have a relationship between two quantities. We have fat grams and how that relates to calories in a sandwich at a restaurant. Okay, yes. Sure. Okay, so we're going to look at, we're going to interpret, quite a few people had concerns about the question interpret yesterday. To interpret means to analyze. What does it mean to analyze something? To look. To look. What else? To explain and understand. Explain, understand, observe, <laughs> right? Brody, why don't you come over here and sit at one of these two desks right here next to me? You just had a chew up to your ear. So I think it's fair that I'm moving you. It's really gross. Okay. So let's go ahead and interpret what's happening here. How many calories are in a sandwich that contains 17 grams of fat? How do you know that? Four. Because if you look at the in between the 15 and the 20, you go up. Yep. Excellent. How many grams of fat are in a sandwich that contains 600 calories? 37. It's going to be 30. Because if you go over 600 and it stops right here, that's at 30 grams of fat. What tends to happen to the number of calories as the number of grams of fat increase? They increase too. They also increase. <laughs> right? No, it'd be way too dark. It's still too dark out. There's not any sunshine coming through. We can just turn all the lights on really bright. I know. Okay, if a, that's not how it works. Like, I already have the front ones. I never put the front ones on. That's the only ones I can turn off. That. Can you turn these off? Can you turn these off? Can you turn these off? I think I'm getting a concussion. I feel like this is a perfect moment for a TikTok. Because you guys are killing me right now. So, who asked first if you could turn the lights off? Okay. So, Carmen. What's your question? What's your question? It was Hubert. No, she said, I have a headache. Can you turn the lights off? Yes, yeah. that was your question. Okay, oh, yeah. let's try again. Okay. Do I have a headache? Okay. <laughs> What's your question? Um, I have a headache. Can we turn the lights off? No. Why? Because Why it's it's too dark outside. But we can, should we like turn a flashlight on or something? No. We can all wear but it like this. Yeah, we can have it. It's like that. We can like go like this. It's like that. Like that. Like that. No. We can turn those on. We can keep the front board thing on, and then we can just. We could use the hallway lights. X-ray vision. Yes. How do you turn all this off? I can't even. Yeah. We'll use flashlights. No. Yes. You have night vision. I'm gonna show you how dark it gets in here if I turn all the lights off.
Okay. Oh, you left your jam like that. Oh, definitely not. Yes. 40. Yeah, so if we had 700. Oh, I guess we're not supposed to do that. This is Mrs. Marsh. Yeah. Sure is. Sure. Are you in the library? Okay. Bye bye. Evelyn. Um, Miss Hampton needs you to go down to the classroom in the library. Do you know where that room is? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll give you my page that I fill out. Okay. So, all right. So, 700 calories would have approximately 40 grams of fat. How did you decide that? How? Somebody besides Hannah. Okay. I went. Oh. <laughs> Anybody besides Hannah? She's, she's doing all the work. Right? It's 40. Because. It's 700, and if you go to, like, any, that's the only thing that's, like, there, right? Okay? Because of the trend, right? Yeah, you can kind of see that this is the pattern, this is the trend. Right. Yep. Thank you. I Bye, Evelyn. Really Okay, so about 40 grams of fat, we used the trend of the scatter plot to help us determine that. All right, now we're going to talk about the different relationships that can happen when you have a scatter plot. So if X and Y are both increasing, that's going to be positive. Right? And it's also considered linear because if I took a ruler out and I, I could draw a line that's really close to all these points. So it's considered linear. Okay? Well, we're going to talk about that. So if this is positive linear, what would this one be? Negative, Negative. Negative linear. No linear. Negative linear. This is going to be linear because I could also use a ruler and draw a straight line and it'd be really close to all those points. What about this one? Nonlinear. It curves. It's negative. It's positive. No, it's positive. Positive, positive nonlinear. This is no correlation. <laughs> So what that tells us is whatever they're comparing here has no connection, meaning there's no relationship between the two sets of data that they're comparing, right? So a perfect example of this would be like your age and the number of siblings you have, right? Your age does not impact how many brothers or sisters you have. What? I just didn't hear what you said. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next page. All right, we have television size and the price of the television. How would we describe this relationship? Um, it's actually going to be positive linear because there's not a very drastic curve, and we're going to talk about this particular plot right here, but this would be considered positive linear. Because as the TV size increases, the price also increases. Bless you. Right? I have not purchased a new TV in over 10 years because I went like super fancy the last TV I bought and it's held up okay. So I don't, haven't had to. But apparently you can get them like super thin, like super, super thin, and like crazy like definition. Yeah. What? Mine. Right? I've, does anybody have a curved TV at home? No. Does it make a difference? Well, my mom wants to sell her TV yeah. it and it's a 75 inch TV and I don't want to get rid of it, but she's going to sell it. Yeah, TVs are, I mean, they're an investment in your happiness, for sure. 
Oh, really? The biggest one ends up in the living room. One of the smaller ones ends up in the garage, and then I get one. Oh. The only reason I want to be in my room is because my brother has, like, two computers in there. I have a bed. The only reason I'm sleeping in my room is because I took it to the spare bedroom last summer, and my mom hasn't made me take it out. Okay. The only reason I have a TV in my room is because my parents love me. <laughs> okay. Identify any outliers, clusters, or gaps. So first we need to talk about what is an outlier. Based on this right here, what do you think an outlier would be? Um, the one that's like by itself. One that's like far away from the others. Yeah, so it's outside. It lies outside the trend. So this one right here is definitely an outlier. So let's make an arrow and write outlier. And put a little square around it, draw attention to it. Right? So our ordered pair would be 70, 2,250. Right? So that's a giant TV for a lower cost. That's why it's an outlier. So maybe it's like the last one and they're trying to get rid of it. Maybe somebody has a crazy coupon. Maybe there's damage to it, like on the back that nobody would see, but nobody wants to buy it because it already has damage. Like who knows why something might be super cheap like that. But that one would be considered an outlier. A cluster is a group of three or more plots in the same area. So do we have a cluster anywhere yeah, on this? Yeah, yeah. Yep, this would be our cluster. Around 30-inch TVs, right? So the prices don't vary. They're not drastically different for that size of television. And then the bigger that the TVs get, the prices change probably based on the quality. Right, but you can't really do a whole lot with a 30-inch television. Do you guys know that a television, the, the dimension is the diagonal? Yeah. Did what? you know that? So if, like so if you buy a TV, diagonal so this is the diagonal. diagonal, so this would be like the 70 inches that they measure. Uh, no, you don't have to. I just want you guys to know that for future reference. So it's not going to be the width. It's going to be the, and you'll learn this here in a, about a month, the hypotenuse of the right triangle is what they measure, the diagonal. So a gap <laughs> is a space where you don't see any plots. So we have a couple gaps here. Somebody tell me where one of them might be. <laughs> so you're going to want to look at the data that we already have. Like somewhere in the data, where do we see a gap? In between uh, the outlier, 40 and a half down. In between like 30 and 40. So between 500 and 1500 dollars, right? There's no plots. Or you could say between like 30 and 40 inches. Right. That's that same area right here that they're talking about. Or you could have said between, you know, 2,200 up to 3,000 is a gap. Okay, let's look at our next scatter plot. What's the relationship between this information? Person's age and number of pets. No correlation. Now they're talking about a person having that many pets right now. So not... If you're 40 and you've had six pets in your lifetime, it's like, I'm 40 and I have six pets now, right? What the so, I mean, so, listen, if I've learned anything from TikTok, people like their pets, and a lot of people have really random pets, like hedgehogs. Like a hundred cats. Like a mouse. And a mouse <laughs> named Michelle. Bird. Birds, lots of birds. I have a bird. You do? What? You want to see a picture of my iPad? Is your bird loud? I have two. That's what I thought. Does the bird like chirp? Is it loud? Yeah. Those but it's not loud at night. You put a blanket over it and it shuts up. <laughs> My sister walks around with it like on her shoulder. 
Oh my gosh. Something's wrong with Will. That's not true. That's a really cute Will. bird. What's its name? Will. Um, they. Treat me. My How old is your sister? Um, she's sixth yeah. grade. <gasps> so I could get another sibling? Yep. This is awesome. Yep. I'll have to I'll have to request special from Mr. Moorhead. Oh my god. I like to have siblings. Right, I'm Addison? Brother. What? I have a little oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Okay. okay, here we go. Do we have any outliers, clusters, or gaps? We do have one outlier, right? 40 year old with six pets, right? That's not super common. A 30-year-old with zero pets? Like, I wonder what their house smells like. This one? Good. Probably not great. Uh, probably not. My grandma's house smells so loud. She has two cats. Yeah. Like, some people can, like, really manage the pet situation, but some people just don't care, or they don't notice anymore. You walk in, and you're like, it smells like a litter box. Yeah, but like, my cousin went to, like, oh. pet sit his neighbor's cat, and he went, and it just <laughs> all on it, and all on the wall. On the walls? Oh my god, and it got oh. stuck in the attic, so we had to climb up there. Your brother had and to he climb? Made, he made a hole in the attic, so we had to go up there, and the cat made a hole wall. in their house. What? What? That's, okay. Yeah. What? It's true story. I don't think we have any clusters. When was this, Maggie, recently? Um, like, December. Oh my gosh. I could totally see your brother loving that situation. That reminds me of Minecraft. So. <laughs> what is this? Is he a part of the spring No, Bones is a little weird. He doesn't. Bones? <laughs> yeah, this one's name was Apple. No, he, he literally, like, does not use the oh. box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So our gaps would be maybe around somebody having three pets. It seems like that's not common. People either have one, two, or they like go crazy and get more than three, but three is not a common number of pets to have. So that would be considered a gap there. Does a 10-year-old have three pets? Yep. They're probably an only child. <laughs> and their parents want to keep them busy. Yeah. Excuse me. I have two pets. I have one. I have none. I have some cats. Wait, does siblings count as pets? Nine. No, siblings do not count as pets. What? Okay. Oh, Bentley does not. No. He's so cute. Are you kidding? Okay, you guys are going to make your own scatter plot now. These are the ordered pairs. These are the axes. Fill them in. Plot the scatter. It sure does. Scatter the plots, people. What? There you go. No, I don't know if it's TikTok worthy. It was funnier the first time. I agree. I want you to. I don't know. It was funnier when you guys were just like all wanting me, trying to convince me to open the curtains. And then, see if people could see you with your with your light, that would be funny, but I can't show that. Why? What if we all consent to being Nope, can't do it. Turn it around and do it.
can't do it. Why? Sorry, I just it's, I just can't. I can't put I can't put students on my TikToks. Nope. Why? Are you friends with people that on TikTok? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. I don't seek out friends on TikTok. I don't think. I don't think she should. Oh, so you're not friends with Shadeker on TikTok? I don't. I honestly don't look for friends on TikTok. So I would. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you don't look for friends on TikTok. What? Okay. Are you guys plotting the points here? Are you plotting the points? I put it up there. I put I put it up there for you. Specifically what? All of it. All of it. So these are the ordered pairs, right? So I went over to where 30 would be and went up to 80. Like, so this is an ordered pair, X and Y. These all make ordered pairs. So you're going to, you need to change them. Yes. Okay. Nope. Now we're going to answer some questions. We're going to talk about. Yeah, what questions? It says identify. It says describe the relationship. Identify any outliers, gaps, or clusters. We have 15 minutes. We're good. So what is the relationship here with this? Positive, negative, linear, nonlinear. No positive, linear. Positive, linear. Positive linear. So a nonlinear would be a very obvious curve. Like you would like it was on the front page. Like you would know right away, like, okay, there's no way I can draw a ruler straight through that. Right? What about the one on the right side? That's our outlier. That's a person that studied for 120 minutes and got a 70. <laughs> well, what could have happened? Let's let's figure out what what, what story could go along with this scenario. They didn't throw they studied the wrong thing. They studied the wrong thing. Yep. What else? Someone said they didn't get enough sleep. What else? Well, maybe they're not, they don't have great, a great study method. Maybe they said they were looking at it for 120 minutes, but they weren't really understanding what was happening. I don't know. Okay. Do we have any clusters? Hey, back to the math. Do we have any clusters? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Kind of. Around eighty-four percent. Kind, kind of, of around. around. And then gaps. I would say between 
90 and 120 minutes of studying. That would be considered a gap right there. Not many people studied more than 90 minutes. Great. Questions about our first day of scatter plots? Nope. Jackson, what's up?